Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'm going to install a free plugin which will help you customize the WooCommerce email templates. This is a free plugin. This plugin also has a premium version. However, I'm going to install only the free version of this plugin and I'll show you how you can customize the WooCommerce email templates. If you are using WooCommerce website, then you are sending emails to your clients whenever there is a new order or the order is completed or there is a refund. So in all these events, you are going to send an email to your customer. And as an admin, you will also receive email from your WooCommerce website. The WooCommerce email templates are pretty basic. You can use this plugin and you can customize the email templates and you can send professional emails to your customers. You can also add different elements and promotional offers in the email and you can send them to your customer. So in this free plugin, you will get 15 plus WooCommerce email templates as well as you will get 22 plus email elements. It is drag and drop email customizer and you will also see some pre-made WordPress templates. So you can also customize WordPress templates along with WooCommerce email templates. Let me show you the pricing of the pro version of this plugin. Here you will see the pro version of this plugin that will cost you $31.50. You can use it on one website. You will get supports and update for one year, 15 plus email templates. 23 plus elements, send test mails, short code support and save templates. If you want for five websites, it will cost you $55.25. And if you want to use it on unlimited sites, then it will cost you $104.25. So this is the pricing of the pro version. In previous videos, I have shown you another email customizer that was the Yaimail email customizer. This plugin also has free as well as premium version. The premium version of this plugin will cost you $59. In another video, I use Use the free WooCommerce email customizer plugin that was from the Theme High website, and the pricing of this plugin is $39. So, if you want to compare these email customizers, I'll give the links in the description box. You can watch these videos and then decide which email customizer will be better option for your WooCommerce website. Now, we are going to install this email customizer. The name of the plugin is Email Kit, and this plugin has been developed by WP Met Company. In one of the previous videos, I have shown you another product of this company that is Elements Kit. This is an Elementor add-on plugin. If you want to watch how to use the Elements Kit add-on plugin, I'll give you the links in the description box. I have also published video on Metform, which is again Elementor contact form. And in the upcoming videos, I'll try to cover other products from this company also. So let's go to the dashboard of the WooCommerce website and we will start with the installation of the free plugin to customize the email templates. Let's go to plugins and click on add new plugin. And here search for email kit. And this is the plugin email kit, email customizer for WooCommerce and WordPress. Click on install now. And click on activate. So the plugin is installed and it is activated. In the left hand panel, you will see the option email kit. Click on it. It will go through a small setup wizard. Check out this video to get started. It will show you how to use it. Let's uncheck this option and click next. And here you can enter your email address if you want to subscribe to their newsletter or you can click on next. And these are the other products. These are the other products, Genie, Guten Kit, Elements Kit, Shop Engine and Metform. If you want to install any one of these plugins, you can simply install it from here. Click next and it is finalizing. Click save changes. All right. So we have gone through the setup wizard. Now it will show you the dashboard here. We do not have any email created. So I'm going to click on add new email. Let's name it as demo one or whatever name you want for this email template. You can use that one. And here you will see a drop down WordPress email or WooCommerce email. Which template do you want to customize? I want to customize a WooCommerce email template. So I'm going to click on WooCommerce email templates and you will see again a drop down and you will see a list of email templates that you can customize using this free plugin. You can go through the list and select the email template that you want to customize. I'm going to start with new order. So I have selected new order and you will see a template which is already there or you can start from the scratch. If you want to customize it, if you want to create your own template, then you can start from the scratch or you can select this template. So I'm going to select this one and click on edit with email kit. All right, so this is the default layout for this email template. In the left hand panel, you will see different elements that you can use in the email template. OK, so we have general if you want to add heading, subheading, text, button, column, section, video, 
container social icon so you can also add video in the email template then we have woocommerce elements that you can use currently it shows 10 different woocommerce elements that you can use shipping address billing address billing shipping address then order item customer note customer register so we will go through these elements later here we have one template at the top we have heading i guess a new order and it shows the order number now when you select this heading section you will see the settings for this heading section in the left hand panel it is just like the elementor page builder you will see everything on the left hand panel if you are familiar with the elementor plugin then you will see the same structure is used here so you can select the heading and in the left hand panel you can customize it from here here we have new order and this is the order id so this is the number of the order if you want to customize it you can customize it let's say i want to add instead of new order i want to make it your new order so this is how you can add the content here typography is nothing but your font size and font weight if you want to change the font family you can change it from here then spacing we have some spacing here padding is there currently it is set to 44 let's change it to 30 and you will see the change there okay and below that we have appearance for the appearance we have background color currently it is using this background color you can change it and you can use another background color which will be part of your website you can customize it according to your website color combination so let's change it let's change the color and let's use this one okay we have border style currently there is no border so i'm going to leave it as it is let's align the text to the center all right so we have customized the top section the heading section if you want to see which layers are there you can simply go here layers and currently we are on the heading then we have customer node this is the customer node then order item you will see it here order item then billing and shipping address so this is the combination of billing and shipping address okay so let's go to the second section here customer node let's go to customize it for the customer node there are three different sections greetings then body and footer you will see this is the greeting then body and this is the footer in the greeting we have hey and then billing name so this is the name of the customer who has placed the order okay so it will take the name automatically if you want to add short codes for different woocommerce elements you can use the short codes also i'll show you how to use the short code this is the body you will see the body here the following note has been added to your order and it shows the customer note here happy to order this is the customer note okay so you can change this content you can add your own content so whatever you want you can add it here so this is going to be the email sent to the customer whenever there is a new order from the customer and this is the footer this is the section as a reminder here are your order details so it says your orders details are below now if you want to customize it you can customize it currently we have changed the content then we have typography then we have appearance and for the appearance we have background color let's change the background color then text color leave it as it is if you want to change the font size you can change it from here let's make it medium let's center align it then we have spacing here spacing is 16 pixel border style if you want to add border style you can add the border style also and this is the width the dimension width and the height of the section that you have if you want to make it 50 percent you can simply make it 50 percent just like this all right so this does not look good so i'm going to make it 100 percent the next section is order item click on it and you will see the customization for the order item it will take 100 percent width font family you can change the font family font size again from here currently it is set to medium font weight will be a regular or you can make it medium background color you can change the background color again i'm going to change the background i'm going to change the background color from here I just want to show you how you can change the colors and the style settings for the element. This is the spacing. Margin is set to 5 pixel and the padding is set to 10 pixel. Basically, it is going to show the order details for this particular user. If I go to dashboard and if I go to orders, let's go to WooCommerce and then go to orders. And this is the order that is uh, used here. It is using this order to preview the email template okay now below that we have billing and shipping address this is another element you can click on it and you can customize it i'm just changing the background colors all right so you can see that we have changed the background color 
So these are the elements that are already in this template. Now, if you want to add more elements, you can simply go here and from here you can add new elements. Let's try this one heading, drag it and drop it here. This is the heading. You will see the heading at the top. So let's delete this one. We have already used this one. So I'm going to use this text, drag it and drop it here. And uh, we have a text here. So you will see the text here. Hey, Jim, this is the name of the user. This is a text and I'm going to use I'm going to delete this one and let's add another element here let's say I want to show the details of the user so I'm going to use the email address of the user so I have shown email and from here you can go to short codes and look for the user email so this is the short code that you can use to show the email of the user okay so I'm going to add a line break here so that it will go to the next line then below that we are going to add phone number and for the phone number again go to short codes and use the phone number all right so here we have billing first name last name billing phone number so I'm going to copy this one and I'm going to add it here and this is the phone number of the user I guess it should not be user email we need to add the billing email so I'm going to look for the short code again and go to billing email so this is the short code that will show the user's email address i'm going to add line break again here also so you will see the email of the user and the phone number of the user let's go to the short codes and let's see which other information we can add here shipping phone then shipping country let's add the country also so it will show the country of the user all right so currently it is not set in the billing so it's not going to show the country if the field is empty then it will show the empty space there all right now this is the site url so i'm going to add another element here let's add a line break again and i want to show my website url so it will show the website url here then i want to show website name so this will be the name of the website let's add line break All right so this is the name of the website this is the url of the website so if you want to add any other short code you can simply go to this list of short codes and use those short codes on your email template let me customize this one change the color the background color all right so this is how you can add the element in the email template let's try another element here let's try video if you have video you can simply add it here if i click on it you will see the settings for this video it is going to take 100 percent width and this is the height thumbnail if you want to add thumbnail you can add the thumbnail and here you can add the url of the video if you have any video on the youtube you can simply add the youtube video link here and it will show the video in the email template these are the spacing settings then border style if you want to add border you can add the border to this video element we can add another section let's say i want to add column section okay so i have added column section and you will see two columns are added here let's add new element in the column let's add a button here so i'm going to select and drag it and drop it here so this is the button that we have added if you want to change the settings you can simply click on it and you will see the settings for this button currently it is set to click me this is the text on the button and here you can add the url for this button so if someone clicks on it it will go to that particular url this is the outline this is the full then you can change the background color or the text color on the button all right so it is very easy to add different elements let's go to this section and uh, let's see what else we can add here let's add social icons so you can simply drag it and drop it here and you will see social icons that you can add you can also customize the column width like this okay now if i go here you will see the place to add the links to your social media so here you can add your Facebook link, then Twitter link, WhatsApp link, and YouTube link, and Instagram link. If you do not want any one of these social media icons, you can simply click on it and it will delete it from there. All right, so if you want to add image, you can simply click on the upload image and drag it and drop it here. We have divider as well as space. Let's add a divider here. You will see divider here. Then we have container, heading, and these are the other elements. 
So in this template, we have used billing and shipping, then order item, then we have customer note, and we have also used the heading section, then text section. So one by one, you can go through these elements and whichever element is required, you can add that element on your email template. Now let's go to preview here. Let's click on preview and it will show you how this template will look when you send the email. So whenever there is a new order, this is the email that will be sent to the customer. And this is how it will look on the desktop. This is how it will look on the tablet. And this is how it will look on the mobile device. So this is fully responsive. It will adjust the width according to the width of the device. And let's go back. So once the template is ready, you can simply click on save and it will save the templates. If you want to use the same layout for the other email templates, you can also save it as a template. However, this option is only for the pro version. Now, in order to use this new template, you need to click on this active option. If you do not click on it, it is not going to use the new template. So make sure that you click on active and then click on save. So this template is active and whenever there is a new order on your WooCommerce website, it is going to use this template to send the details of the order to the customer. Now let's go back here. You will see WordPress icon here. Click on it, click leave. And we are back to email kit. If you want to create a new template, you can simply click on add new email. Again, you can name the email template, then go to drop down, select WooCommerce email and from the drop down, select another template. Let's say order on hold and this is the template. You can select it and click on edit with email kit and you can start customizing the template for the order on hold email. So using this plugin, you can create multiple email templates. If you want to buy the pro plugin, I'll give you the link in the description box. You can use my link. If there is any discount coupon code, I'll mention that in the description box. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.